Well, hey folks, we are thawing out from our deep freeze earlier this week. We had some frigid temperatures in the 20s and we had snow and you can see the remnants of some of the snow over here. So it's all melting. We're back up in the 60s, I think, for the weekend. Getting some stuff done around the homestead. If you can see Brian over there with the tractor, he's actually clearing out some of the construction materials that have been stacked there for years. We're going to be using these materials on our shed build, so he's getting ready to move everything over to the shed area. Brian has now talked to our third engineer about this project, and I'm going to fill you in on what they had to say. Unfortunately, the third engineer did not give us the greatest news either. We'll break it all down for you in this video, guys, but we, let's go get some work done first. All right. I can see you through the weeds over there. <laughs> Who that? <laughs> okay. Ooh, nice job. Now where are you gonna put it all? That's just the scrap wood that's in the way. I'm not sure where he's gonna put all that. That's the scrap wood that he's been wanting to get out of the way so we could get to the longer eye joists. What the world? Carrying a beam? Don't we have a tractor for that? <laughs> this is easier. Well, here we are down at the shed with all our materials. We had to move some stuff that was buried for a, a couple of years in the snow, <laughs> but uh, it's um, moved to where it's supposed to be. And so we're ready to go. <laughs> Some of the materials. Yeah. So so we had a bunch of was it eye joists. Eye joists, yeah. So we can use those for the floor in the uh, the loft. We can use them for that. Use them for the lean-to on the side. So. Uh, then we had a stack of OSB. Yep. So we can use that as well for all the siding. I got to fill folks in on the situation. So we prepped and ready. Brian regraded the entire area for the shed. Really happy with how he was able to spread it out and level it so now we've had we've talked to three engineers now so the <laughs> so the uh the second one said he was going to look at the 
the stuff or the plans a couple weeks ago hasn't gotten around to it i'm, I'm sure he's probably really busy like every, everybody mm -hmm. and i talked to another um a trust company and to see if they could just build the trusses if maybe they had pre-engineered gabriel trusses um but they would actually build the trusses from the plans so their engineer can stamp the plans however uh they're six weeks backed up so and then we wouldn't get the we won't get the trusses until april that's so, more than six weeks well it, it was just the stamping of plans that was oh. six weeks oh okay so that's a lot of weeks away that sounds yeah. like deep into winter to me so <laughs> So, so kind of bad news about the yeah. status of our build, but what could we even do at this point? Yeah. So what, what I'm th hoping is that the county will let us put the slab in at least. So that way, if we get the once the plans are stamped, then we could build the wall, put the walls up at least as well. So um, and then just wait on the trusses. The getting the trusses from the trust company was like twenty four hundred dollars. That's that's not a lot considering all the work that it will save. Mm -hmm. uh, there's lots of pieces to those trusses. And uh, so that, that would take, that would probably take me a month just to cut all the pieces. Okay. So, so big uh, time savers. We're trading off for yeah. a big time saver. And I guess a little bit of a trade off waiting until April to get them. Yep, exactly. Um, but uh... <laughs> there's other projects to do. So, yeah. We can uh, stay busy indoors with those projects. Yeah, and there's definitely, you're taking a chance if we're starting in a huge build right before winter as well. Right. We're not really sure how winter's going to unroll this year, even yes. though it seems to have a bit of a delay. It's been it's a pretty... A nice start. <laughs> nice, yeah, it's pretty mild fall, other than this brief amount of snow and cold weather we had early this week. We had about four days of cold, but right. now we're back to, you know, 60 or 70 in the sun. It's pretty mild out. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, look, I'm in a t-shirt, <laughs> so. So that's the unfortunate status. We're probably not going to be doing, you know, gung-ho building the shed right now in the fall. But if we get lucky and we get approved to pour a slab, then that's going to happen. And we might be able to build some walls while we're waiting. Yep. Um, so. Get some gravel. Got to put that in so we've got a little bit of a driveway here. Yeah, there's a lot more steps involved. So the right. gravel... We'll get something done. <laughs> we'll get something done. We'll just keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> we got some materials to work with, I yeah, think. Yeah. Well, why is it so backed up? I mean, I think everybody put a lot of building plans on hold this summer. And then suddenly as the prices drop, now all these engineers, they're all backed up. And who knows why yeah, the, another reason is. But The uh, trust company said the engineers have been extremely busy. In fact, mm -hmm. they've been unloading some of the engineering on the trust company, which they don't like to do so. So that's our status for now, but we're gonna just keep busy around the house. We've got plenty of things to do. Moving, maybe taking care of some of those lumber piles that had been piled in that place for three years. <laughs> now that Brian's moved some of it out of the way. The rest of it's all junk, so. Yeah, we can just <laughs> clean it up. Well, it looks like you're on to the next project already. Yeah, might as well be outside working. Are we waiting on our plans, our shed plans? Yeah. So, so what are you doing? I want to backfill this a little bit. It kind of slopes down. I want to bring up the level, try and get rid of some of these, some of this vegetation. Mm -hmm. So the rose bushes take over. They're so bad. I mean, there are so many thorns on them. Ooh, that's a lot of thorns on that. Yeah. Man, you want to grab that? It's a one? million. Yeah. Even with gloves, it goes right through the gloves. Oh, yeah. That's pretty bad. Yeah, so it looks like you're widening out the area on the outside of the retaining wall here, just flattening it out. I'm trying to widen that area down there a little bit and just bring this one up because it's. I'd like to get at least to the, the bottom of the. The first railroad tie, but it slopes down at least six, seven inches. I'm taking it from the side. I'm going to take it from the side of the house because a lot of that dirt's going to get removed when we build the rest of the house. So mm -hmm. that's a good place to grab it. I'll just dump it down here. So.
but we're not going to waste our beautiful weekend so we're just staying busy moving dirt collecting seeds planting things landscaping we're doing what we can do to stay busy outside while the weather's nice and we can't work on our shed yet so well we'll just have to keep you posted how it goes stay tuned at the end of this video i'm posting a time lapse of where we went from fall to winter back to blue skies all in one afternoon all right guys we'll see you next time bye